Amisha Das of class 9. I am Krishna Dhani Banerjee of class 9. And I am Shobhan Bose of class 9. Now this is the condition of the public transport systems in developing countries like India. So people mainly hang over uh, different areas on the bus and travel. There are more accident and uh, unsafe to travel. So now comes the question that why your innovation is different from other solutions. First of all, there is no check on bus drivers who being drunk still leads the bus to the destination. And due to less frequency of buses at certain routes, the bus remains overloaded. Through drink and drive craze and situations like overloading of bus, it becomes unsuitable for the passengers who travel through buses. And this leads to the problem and the problem is how can we make public transport more convenient and accident free? So now as a solution to this problem, we have developed the prototype of the smart bus. So here how it works. We have used IR sensor to detect the number of passengers entering and leaving the bus. That is the total number of people in the bus. Since it's a prototype, we have developed it in a way that there will be only six people inside the bus. And then comes the alcohol sensor that is fixed near the steering of the wheel to detect if the driver is drunk. And if so, the bus will come to a stop and necessary action will be taken against it. Then the weight sensor detects the total load on the bus. So for making this prototype, the components here we have used are two Arduino, you know, two IR sensors, one weight sensor, one MQ3 alcohol sensor, one L290 driver board, three DC motor, one GSM module and one servo motor. Now we come to the project overview. We have developed a prototype of smart bus which will make transportation more accessible and safe to travel. This is our prototype. Now this is our prototype. In this we have used two IR sensors. One at the entry gate and one at the exit gate. This is the entry gate and this is the exit gate. Now as this is a prototype, the least pounds of passengers So here are the changes that were made after we were selected for a tinkering marathon, that is after the previous video. So this is the GSM module that was added in the prototype. And next comes the door barrier. This is the door barrier that we have whose function we have already seen previously and the weight sensor over here. Now we have here is the weight sensor and the seat belt checking system that we have introduced. As you can see, the weight increases in the display. And now comes the seat belt checking part. When one of the passengers doesn't have the seat belt on, the seat belt alert would go off. 
and when it plugs in the seat belt, it will stop. So now comes the part of the novelties of the project. It helps to reduce accidents and makes traveling more convenient in planes as well as in hilly areas. Introduction of seat belt checking in buses. This feature is more useful in school buses. Introduction of the alcohol sensor to keep check on drivers and to avoid drip and driver drink case. Addition of the weight sensor on the entry gate to calculate the overall load of the on the bus. Addition of GSM module will help the concern authority to be in contact with the present condition of the bus through messages. Buzzer facility to help passengers identify that the a driver is drunk and that is why bus is stopped. Now we come to, to the future aspects. Camera module can be introduced in public transport buses to keep a surveillance to avoid any mishaps. The functionality of passengers boarding and deboarding the bus will be introduced will be replaced by introducing red sensors at entry and exit gate which will avoid overloading of the bus. Eco-friendly buses can be introduced in which battery can be charged by solar energy and bus can run on the charged battery. Additional UPS backup should also be available in case of emergency. So here we have the circuit diagram for the model. This is the Arduino Uno. The two IR sensors are the entry gate and the exit gate. They have been connected to the Arduino through the breadboard. The gas sensor, the MQ3 and one sensor. The buzzer, the GSM module, and the four motors that all have been connected to the army. And next comes the circuit for the seatbelt checking and the weight sensor. This is the weight sensor which have been connected to the army, you know, and the seatbelt checking system is here. So now, as we come to the end of the project, I would like to say that we hope we have done everything in this model that will help people in the public sphere. We hope that through this model, people will be inspired to use public transport facilities more often than using private vehicles, which will also help reduce pollution. And if we are selected for the higher levels with this model, we would like to work with Tata Hitachi, IT Stepped Robot Technologies, and Seattle Technologies. Thank you. Mm -hmm.